DSB, an abbreviation of Dansk Statsbaner Danish State Railways, is the largest Danish train operating company, and the largest in Scandinavia. While DSB is responsible for passenger train operation on most of the Danish railways, goods transport and railway maintenance are outside its scope. DSB runs a commuter rail system, called the S-Train, in the area around the Danish capital, Copenhagen, that connects the different areas and suburbs in the greater metropolitan area. DSB used to operate some trains in Sweden, but has since August 2017 lost all their contracts. DSB was founded in 1885 when the state-owned companies De Jysk Finsk Statsbaner and De Sjællandske Statsbaner merged. History The first railways in Denmark were built and operated by private companies. The railways in Funen and Jutland were built by Pito and Betts who also supplied the locomotives built by Canada Works, Birkenhead. Most of the technical staff was also recruited from Britain, notably from the Eastern Counties Railway. When Pito and Betts went into insolvency, the Danish state took over Det Dansk Jernbane Driftselskab the Danish Railway Operating Company as of September 1, 1867 under the name De Jysk Fjenske Jernbaner the Funen and Jutland Railways, from 1874 De Dansk Statsbaner i Jylland og Fyn the Danish State Railways in Jutland and Funen. The network was extended by new construction and by acquisition of the privately operated lines from Silkborg to Herning November 1, 1879, and from Greenar to Randers and Aarhus April 1, 1881. The Danish state took over Det Sjællandske Jernbanselskab the railway company of Zealand on January 1, 1880, forming De Sjællandske Statsbaner the state railways of Zealand. With the majority of railways on both sides of the Great Belt thus owned by the Danish state, it was not until October 1, 1885 that the companies of Jutland, Funen and Zeeland merged into one national railway company, De Dansk Statsbaner the Danish state railways, the merger being finalised on April 1, 1893. After the merger, new lines were constructed and a new generation of rolling stock and locomotives were introduced by Chief Mechanical Engineer Otto Busser. After Busser's retirement, however, DSB ceased to design its own locomotives and increasingly came to rely on outside suppliers, mainly Borsig of Berlin. The 1930s were a decade of innovation and modernization for DSB. New railway bridges were built across the Little Belt 1935, the Storstrom 1937, and Odesund 1938, eliminating the costly and time-consuming process of transfer by steam ferry. The suburban lines in and around Copenhagen were electrified for multiple unit operation at 1,500 volts DC S trains. Early experiments with diesel propulsion led to the development of the all-purpose MO-class heavy diesel electric railcar equipped for multiple unit operation, after World War II also fitted for push-pull operation with a driving trailer. Several classes of mainline diesel electric locomotives were also built as prototypes by Burmeister and Wayne of Copenhagen and Fricks of Aarhus, but further development was cut short by the German occupation and the consequent shortage of oil supplies, forcing DSB to rely on coal burning steam locomotives for mainline duties. Coinciding with the opening of the Little Belt Bridge in 1935, DSB introduced the new express train concept known as Lintog lightning trains". These diesel-powered three- and four-coach trains, having a power car at each end with a power pack identical to that of the Mo railcar series, featured a then-impressive top speed of 120 km per hour as well as a high level of comfort, and they proved themselves DSB's most commercially successful initiative of the 1930s. World War II left DSB with a fleet of outdated and worn-out trains, and apart from a series of second-generation MO railcars and the Class MT multi-purpose centercab engines built by Fricks, domestic industry was unable to provide the kind of motive power required. 
Instead, DSB looked to foreign suppliers. General Motors diesel-electric locomotives had proved themselves in the U.S. and Canada before the war. DSB's Class My A1AA1A diesel locomotives, built on license from GM and delivered from NOHAB starting in 1954, were found to be very reliable and economically feasible compared to the steam locomotives, eventually putting the age of steam to an end as well as being a decisive factor in DSB's choice of motive power for nearly three decades. They were followed by the equally successful Class 1010 with a lower axle load for branch line services and the Class MZ for heavy express services. Based on three diesel hydraulic shunting locomotives built by Henschel and acquired by DSB, Fricks developed their own version of the Class MH shunter, which replaced the steam-powered shunting engines. After the success of the Deutsche Bundesbahn's VT 11.5 class on trans-European express services, DSB acquired 11 power cars and matching intermediate cars to replace the first-generation Lintog. The 1960s were marked by an increasingly poor economy for DSB, leading to a steady staff reduction throughout the decade. However, this was also accompanied by the appearance of new technology, notably the utilization of electronic equipment, improving the safety and efficiency of DSB's railway traffic. In 1972, along with the celebration of the 125th anniversary of railways in Denmark, DSB introduced a new corporate design by architect Jens Nielsen, inspired by British Railways and Canadian National Railways, with red as the dominant colour with engine rooms of locomotives painted black, replacing the traditional maroon livery with yellow winged wheel symbols. DSB's position was additionally strengthened by the oil crisis in 1973. Following the lead of the Netherlands Railways, British Railways and Deutsche Bundesbahn, DSB in 1974 introduced a fixed interval timetable for its long-distance locomotive hauled intercity trains as well as the commuter services to and from Copenhagen. On regional services in Funen and Jutland, the pre-war design Mo-class railcars were displaced by Mr. Class DMUs, a licensed version of the Deutsche Bundesbahn VT 627. In 1990, after a delay of several years, the IC3 trains came into use, initially as Lintog, and in 1991 as ordinary intercity trains. The IC3 trains, being a specimen of the Flexliner type of multiple units, have a distinct appearance due to the rubber-framed ends, allowing access between trainsets when coupled together. The re-engined Flexliners are now 2014 nearing the end of their service life, but due to problems with the Ansaldo Breeder-built successor class IC4 they are expected to remain in service for another 5–10 to 10 years. The Great Belt fixed link was opened for railway traffic in 1997 a year before road traffic, replacing DSB's railway ferries. In 1997, infrastructural duties were branched off into a new agency under the Danish Ministry of Transport, Banestyrelsen now, Banedanmark, leaving DSB with the task of train operation. A new design was presented on April 30, 1998, as well as the announcement of the Good Trains for All plan, seeking to replace old and less comfortable trains by 2006 2007. DSB was turned into an independent public corporation on January 1, 1999. The goods department of DSB, DSB Gods, was merged with Raelian in 2001, and DSB now solely manages passenger rail service, including the operation of railway stations. In 2003, Arriva, in competition with DSB, won the tender for operating a number of regional railway services in Jutland, Tonda Esbjerg, Esbjerg Struer, Skjern Aarhus, Struer Langer Aarhus and Struer Thisted. In 2007, the Orisund train services were hived off into a separate company, DSB First, but the company resigned from the traffic in 2011, due to financial problems. Corporate structure 
DSB is an independent public state-owned corporation under the Danish Ministry of Transport and Energy. This has been the case since 1999, and is the result of a former political desire to privatise the Danish railways. Thus, DSB now operates on a for-profit basis, although it retains certain public service commitments via contracts with the Ministry of Transport and Energy. In March 2015, the ongoing privatization process was put on hold until at least 2024, as part of a broad center left political majority agreement on passenger rail transport. As of 2005, DSB employs about 9,000 people. Keld Sengeloff became president and CEO in February 2004, after a career in the DSB organization since 1997, but died from an undisclosed illness while travelling with friends in Scotland, UK on 3 September 2006. His successor was Soren Eriksson, who was dismissed in March 2011 following the discovery of financial and contractual irregularities. He was largely exonerated in a subsequent inquiry. His successor, Jesper Locke, was announced in December 2011 and took office in April 2012, but resigned in 2014. Since 2015, former fighter pilot Fleming Jensen has been CEO for the corporation. Topic divisions DSB SOV Selbstständig Offendlig Werksamt Independent Public Company DSB Commercial Sales and Marketing DSB International Train Operations Abroad DSB Detail A S Management of Shops on DSB Stations DSB S Tog A S Operation of the S Train Network DSB Sales DSB Long Distance and Regional Trains IC4 Program Sales Onboard Service Traffic DSB Finance DSB Property Development, DSB Property DSB HR and Organization Financial Management, IT, CSR DSB Vedlegehold A, S Train Maintenance Services <laughs> 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 As an originally state-owned company, DSB has experienced several reforms since its establishment in 1885. In particular, the large-scale privatization reforms of Denmark in the 1990s, has resulted in the selling and outsourcing of many railway lines and services across the country. DSB currently operates several types of passenger trains, varying in number of stops and motive power. Apart from the S trains, types available for the general public include regional trains, RO in eastern Denmark, RV in western Denmark, or in the Åsund region, inter-regional trains, IR, intercity trains, IC, intercityland, L, express intercity trains. Intercityland non-stop, EL, intercityland calling at fewer stations. Eurocity Trains EC Topic See also Banner Denmark List of DSB locomotives and multiple units Transportation in Denmark Rail transport in Denmark History of rail transport in Denmark Arriva DB Schenker Rail List of DSB railway stations <laughs>